is ASMR today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial and today I'll show you the high dynamic range that means the HDR photo how to make this one so at first I'll apply a preset for the camera filter and then then I'll use another just effect from the Google Nick collection and it's done so let's see how to do that if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications and go to the file and open up i'll just use this photo and then make copy by pressing ctrl j and if you want you can drag the background layer and drop in a new options and you'll get a new layer of this photo that means the duplicate layer so Go to the filter and camera filter this camera filter you know that the creative cloud is giving you by default camera filter options and where you are getting all the settings like the lightroom and all the panels which will make your life easier than the previous so here the preset options and go to the load settings options and here i made a hdr effects for you guys and i'll give you that download link in my video description so I apply this one and you have assumption to do that like you can adjust all the thing if you want you can make it more warmy and if you want you can add some highlights like these or whites like these if you want or if you need to do that so let's see the before one and after one yeah the main theme of the high dynamic range will be like that the all area will be shadow and highlighted that means the high dynamic range that means you are covering all the areas in this photo you are getting the flatted like that the shadow is not prominent in this photo you are getting the shadow all the edges are prominent and it will make the photo another dimension so hit the ok button yeah it will take time to give you output let's see the before one the flat photo uh, suppose you can get this type of photo in your studio and using the backdrop like that and the after one after applying this preset of my preset you are using you are getting like that so let's apply another things so after that if you need you can refine the skin by using the skin finer so go to the filter and photo toolbox skin finer if you want to know more about the skin finer please check out my video description i will give there the detailed video about that so and here is the preset like this here is the apply preset options and hdr and apply this one you'll get the output like before one and after one the smooth like uh, not rough just uh, totally rough if this one is smooth and it will make your photo more sense if you need you can adjust the saturation and the hue saturation and all the settings like that how smooth will be like that or how rough and fine will be this one and highlighted or the shadows all the things and hit the ok button yeah our skin refining is done now time for applying another effects from the nick collection color effects pro 4 one thing is that nick collection is another plugins for the photoshop and blessing things i guess and go to the filter and nick collection color effects pro 4 if you want to get the nick collection please check out my video description i'll give there the download link and you can download this one and you can use it or your photography editing purpose so it's loading yeah and from here uh, cross processing lots of uh, filters actually but i do love to use the cross processing and here is lots of methods you can choose one of them if you need you can just select this one it will just give you another dimension and here is the strength options if you need you can just adjust this one and hit the ok button yeah it will take time to give you the output and give you the result uh, which is the far difference between the previous one the flatted one so the before one and after one you're getting like that if you want to control the highlight you have to go to the camera filter and only these things just de highlighted this one 
according to your image if you need and hit the ok button yeah and that's good for you let's see the before one the flat nice image uh, actually but if you want to get the hdr effect you have to maintain or follow these type of things so this one the secret settings of this one so let's apply another photo uh, here is another photo yeah this one and just copying this one i'm repeating this process again just because of your learning purpose filter camera filter and here is the preset options and the load settings and the hdr and i'll give you that things and in this case you need to add some exposure a little bit yeah and hit the ok button the before one and after one yeah and then go to the filter nick collection color effects pro 4 from here you can use another effects from for this photography yeah i'll use this one and hit the ok button yeah it's taking time and give you the output the ultimate result the dynamic range high dynamic range or all the things the flat photo just you got the, the nice light and background but if you are using this type of effect it will make your photo more dramatic so another image let's apply this one yeah and press ctrl j and filter camera filter and then the preset options load settings options and hdr yeah you're getting a nice effect yeah the different cases and different photos you need to just adjust this one if you want or if you need you can have that assumption to edit these type of things and hit the ok button so the before one and after one the extreme change and the ultimate change of this one so i think this one will help you a lot and i'm giving all the things all the resource file in my video description so check it out if you need the preset or the stock images and nick collection plugins whatever and the skin finer pro detail video everything i'm providing you in my video description so check out my video description again check out my video description always i do give all the things in my video description so thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial i'm asmr signing out today and bye bye